Привет, ребят! Сегодня я представляю вам первую тренировку с Майком Рашидом. Крутой спортсмен, интенсивный фанат тренировок. Короче, вы сами все увидите. Начнем! I've been training all my life, uh, but in a bodybuilding capacity, probably about four years now. You know, I used to be a fighter, and I lifted then. You know, I was advised not to, but I always lifted, and it gave me an extra strength advantage in the ring. But uh, like, like isolating body parts and training uh -huh. hypertrophy, I started that about four years ago. I always did like the major lifts, bench press, deadlifts, squats. Even for fighting. Yeah, because I used to be in Team Tyson, so I was in Mike Tyson's training camp, and he lifted too, you know, but we never went really heavy. Squats or something, we would do like 225 for like a lot of reps. What's the highest body weight that you achieve? Is it it's right now, it's right two, now. 235. What's your height? 5'11". What's the body fat, what would you estimate? I don't know, I would estimate anywhere from 9 to 11%. What are your goals? Immediate or maybe, you know, long term? Uh, my goals is always, I'm always trying to become stronger. And I'm gonna tell you the reason. You know, with bodybuilding, it's not necessary to lift the most amount of weight. Absolutely. Energy. However, the way that I train, you know, I train with a lot of volume. However, I don't want to just do volume. I want to do vo heavy volume. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like that the stronger that I can become, I can rep out a heavier weight causing more trauma to my muscles, allowing it to grow better. Uh -huh. so it's like a little formula that I kind of figured out and it's been working for me. So it's still to become stronger in all my lifts. You know, I call my style overtraining, but right now I'm actually, I'm literally overtraining, right? And a lot of people get confused. They say, oh, you're doing, that's going to be too much. Your body won't recover, et cetera, et cetera. And I beg to differ. Uh, our bodies are amazing, right? Uh, we are designed to adapt. If we didn't adapt, we would not have evolved from simple single cell organisms. In us in a gym environment, you see the adaptation faster because it's not normal to walk around this big, muscular. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, we force our, we cause trauma to our bodies. It, it breaks down and then it's like a survival, a neurological level, our bodies are like, you know what, we gotta repair it to where we can handle that fight again. Uh -huh. So, and that's what happens. So that's how we get bigger and stronger. What about uh, rest then? Because when you, when you overload, constantly overload and you're causing trauma, then you need to, uh, to let it recuperate and grow. Right, right, right. How many days of rest per week you, you allow yourself? Typically two. Mm -hmm. Every now and then I do three days rest. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's just one day. Okay. So, uh, how I balance out yeah. uh, the type of training I do is I eat a lot more, okay? So, uh, a good friend of mine, his name is Chris Albert, um, he has this whole method of uh, eating, it's called, he, he has a program called Getting the Shredded, GCS method. So I told him, I said, all right, Chris, this is what I'm gonna do. A couple months ago, I said, I'm gonna switch my training from one body part a day to two body parts a day. Uh -huh together and I'm gonna overtrain. So I need you to design me a, a nutrition program that will give me the fuel to be able to train in that capacity and be able to recover and grow. If I, if I'll have my buddy Chris write out uh, a program for me if I need to cut for a show mm -hmm. or a really big shoot or something like that. But other than that, I'm eating when I'm hungry. I'm eating when my body is craving nutrients. So I don't, I don't count my macros like that. All right. If you're hungry late at night mm -hmm. and your friends are eating pasta or pizza, would you allow yourself to do that or no? It depends. Like sometimes, sometimes yeah. you can. <laughs> yeah. All right. And, and I'm gonna tell you why though. I don't recommend that for everybody though. Uh -huh. I have a really healthy metabolism and I train really hard, so uh -huh. I can get away with that. Sometimes, not all the time. Yeah. So there's there's times that I will have that pizza. I'm not a big pasta guy, but I love pizza. That's like uh -huh. my favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people in Russia are, uh, are really fond of uh, mixed martial arts. Right, right now, well, you know how popular it has become. Um, if you uh, had to say a few words about combining these two things, because so many questions, you know, I get in the blog about how to combine, you know, some fighting training with right. uh, with weightlifting training. Right, right, right. Now that's my that's my background is. is uh, boxing, uh, Muay Thai, kickboxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, 
Kyokushin. So mm -hmm. I have an extensive martial arts background, but my very favorite one is boxing. Mm -hmm. Traditional boxing. How, all right. So I've always lifted. So the difference is you're going to be lifting for strength, power, and explosiveness. You're not lifting for a pump. You're not lifting to get bigger. Because I will say this, in my years of when I switched over my training to mm -hmm. grow, uh, I still I still fight. But do you lose speed? But you lose explosiveness? I, I, I'm, I'm able to keep my speed because I never stop. However, it's a lot more effort. And I can play it off like it, it's not that bad, but it, it, it's, uh -huh. it's okay. painful. What uh, motivates you in general? I have that inner fire inside of me. You know, I'm a very self-motivating person. Um, you know, and I, I want to say that my father got me into boxing at age 12. Uh -huh. I competed on a world level since a kid. So I, I'm very competitive and I've always had that drive. I never wanted to let my father down, right? And also, you know, I have my kids and I want them to be proud of me. You know, I want them, when I looked at my dad when I was a kid, like, that's a superhero. That's how I want them to look at me. So I don't take shortcuts, you know? I don't mind working hard. Я решил показать вам тренировку в реальном режиме, чтобы вы смогли, во-первых, почувствовать общий дух и настрой, а во-вторых, реально видели темп выполнения упражнений и количество отдыха между подходами. Думаю, что в данном случае так будет полезнее. Как-нибудь в качестве эксперимента попробуйте повторить, только адаптируйте веса. Поехали! Big Rob did it. Rob did it. <laughs> Drop it in. Fifteen yet again. <laughs> All right. Come on. 
slightly different if it's different shape they're a little different weight yeah a little. A yeah I noticed that the smaller one, that shit is, I don't know it's different to me I think they're a little lighter yeah yeah I yeah like I could feel that Switch. yeah Rob how heavy are you how much right do you weigh now I'm two, like, 259 259 what's yeah. your what's your height 6'4 6'4 yeah we got the same height no, I'm 6'3 you were a little bit low. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Funny. Yeah, that much, yeah. Maybe a half inch. Yeah, buddy, show me. You go ahead. I gotta eat my food, baby. Uh huh. Eat my food. Eat that, bro. Here we go. Hey. Well, huh? Yeah. You got that. So, Mike, you're adding a little bit of help. Yeah, when Just, it gets heavy, you start coming yeah. up a little bit. But as long as you constant of it, it don't come all the way out. This is what we don't want. We don't want this. Of course. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. 
Come on, Mike. The same. This one looks a little thicker. That's all right. It's not worth it. And then do like this. And do like this. It's ready. You'll find weights that match. Fuck it. It all works. Okay, the one. All right. So we're doing drop set. Uh huh. Two, four, eight. We're doubling it. So two reps. Strip. Four reps. Strip. Eight reps. So if you strip this out. He's gonna strip this out. Uh huh. So with strip at first, just one? Two, two quarters. Oh, two. Yeah, two Is this quarters. a quarter also? Yeah. It's not small. Yeah, it's right. It looks small, but it's the same. So we take off two quarters. Woo! Hey, bro, come, on. come on, Mike. Come on. 
Mike, you're crazy. You guys are crazy, definitely. You guys are crazy. Yeah, that's it. Limited. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do the if I don't do the full range there. Okay. Two, four, twelve. I did twelve, but it's two, four, eight. So two, four, four, eight. Do with the last one. All right. It's already like you know, it feels numb. I feel numb. That's so strange, unusual. Yeah, it's just numb. you do after that if we continue Typically, I will go to like a pulling like a uh, like a lap pull uh, wide grip with the fat the fat grips uh -huh. harder to hold uh -huh. and it really builds your forearms and it increases same your same fashion in terms of reps now we'll just we'll start like say in the middle of the pin and do 20s and go all the way down run the stack we call it run the stack that's when you go all the way down to the heaviest weight uh-huh maybe we can and then drop it and then go back up? Yeah, something like that. And then third exercise or no? And then, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Another row. So probably the T-bar rows. So more rows. 
at that point, we'll be pretty much strength will be diminishing by that point. Yeah. So we'll probably do two, only two or three plates, and we'll do ten wide, ten close, so about four, three or four sets of that, and then we might come back to more pulls, maybe a close grip lap pull, and that's about it. Yeah. You must do this shit.